Hi guys, um, this is going to be a quick little video where I introduce to you my newest vintage deck. Um, I did an Instagram live introducing it, but I'm gonna film a video for YouTube, so here we go. Please don't mind my little Starla. She's hanging around because she loves to be curious, so <laughs> she may be in the video throughout the entire time. <laughs> okay, so, um, Long story short, I was looking for a deck. I originally wanted the Blushing Fool, um, the Rider Waite version with the Blushing Fool. My husband was gonna gift me a deck. Of course, that one was a little bit too much out of our you know, comfort zone with, with how much it cost. It's quite expensive. Um, but when I was browsing eBay, I stumbled across this beauty. So this is the Diamond Tarot. Um, it was created in the 90s. I want to say it's the late 90s. Um, and it's a out-of-print deck. And it is absolutely one of a kind. Um, I didn't know that this deck existed. I stumbled upon it on um, eBay while I was browsing for vintage Rider weight decks. Um, and then when I came across this one, I was like, ooh, I have to have it. So this one came with the box. Of course, it's very well used, <laughs> as most tarot boxes um, are. I had to tape it. I have to retape it, actually. So I'll probably end up just putting this one in a deck bag and keeping the box as, as well. Um, it does not come with the guidebook. So the deck itself wasn't as pricey as other ones that I've seen um, on eBay. And I was able to negotiate um, a, a lesser price for the deck. So I kind of scored on it when I compare it to how much the other ones I've seen that are popping up on eBay. So I put the cards in order, but the backs have this um, geometric psychedelic looking pattern to them. The cards are very, very, very colorful, um, but I just think that this geometric psychedelic pattern is pretty I think it's, it's beautiful actually <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of like the little flowers that I used to doodle back in the day in school when I was bored out of my mind in class <laughs> um, so those are the card backs the cards themselves are the same size as the writer weight um, and I think oh let me let me get my writer weight so I can show you guys the comparison So this is one of my vintage um, versions of the Rider Waite. Let me just pull out the Fool so I can just show you guys for comparison. Okay. So this is a, you know, a standard size Rider Waite deck. This is the Diamond Tarot. There's the same size, but as you can see, um, the image of the, the card, the character themselves, is very, very small in the Diamond Tarot because it has the illusion of it being looked at through, you know, the top of a diamond, the cut of the diamond, and you have like the psychedelic portions of the card kind of just blending and twisting and turning. It's really beautiful. Um, so if you're not into deck with borders, you may not be in love with this one. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think it's absolutely just gorgeous. It's a different type of a deck. My husband's doing the lawn, so you might hear the noises. <laughs> so I'm not going to go card by card. I'm just going to show a few of them. Um, but like I said, you have the titles, you have the blending of the entire card. As you can see, like we have little pieces of the fool popping up as if it was like looked at under a diamond. It's kind of cool. Um, but the cool part is not all the cards are the same. So the borders, the diamond borders are different for each character. Okay. So it kind of brings that card to life. Look at that, that high priestess. This one, she looks like she's going through a time warp. Kind of like when you're like tapping into your third eye. 
I love the emperor, he's all red. So when I was reading up on the diamond tarot, they were saying that the borders, um, the coloring, the color scheme kind of mimics the tone or the energy of that card. So it's supposed to give you that feel. I wanna show you guys the devil. Look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just think this deck is so much fun. So um, the minor arcana is still the same thing. You have the, the basics. I love how the pentacles are like this color, you know, those, it looks like a little rainbow of, of colors in, in the pentacles. Um, the swords. <laughs> I'm totally into this. <laughs> I just think it's so quirky. I think it's just, it's fun. Um, it's different. I've never seen a deck like this before. Um, so I think that it will be a lot of fun to work with, especially in readings um, and Readings for myself, but also for my clients. I think this will be a pretty one to pull out. I love the colors. They're very, um, they're a little bit lighter and brighter um, than the Rider weight. So you could see the color scheme is a bit different. I really, really enjoy it though. Um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate that the image of each of the characters is, you know, fairly small, but I feel like that just gives to the whole illusion of the diamond. Um, so, you know, it's just one of those Rider Waite clones that I just think was pretty nicely done. <laughs> it's quirky, it is different. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to show it to you guys to show you my newest vintage deck in my collection. Um, I'm excited to have it. It's always exciting when you're when you get a out of print deck and you get to add it to the collection and it's a red right weight, so why not? Um, but if you guys are curious and you want to, you know, see if you could pick one up for yourselves, there are still some popping up on eBay. Um, like I said, I kind of scored on this one because it um, the box is damaged and then it doesn't come with the the guidebook. So the person who was selling it was actually selling it for fairly cheaper than um than you find than you're then you're seeing like other ones popping up like some of them are popping up at 75 dollars and then that's a starting bid price so you know you're you know people who are bidding are going to go up a, a bit more um but you know i was able to talk this one down and then I, I feel like i got a good price for it so <laughs> but if you're curious um check it out on ebay see what you find and yeah if you have any questions about the cards or there's any um, other any other ones you want to see a picture of, send me a DM or a comment and, or an email or whatever, <laughs> and I will send it to you. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my loves.